Hello students, welcome to this session. In our previous session, we have discussed some examples on Cauchy's integral formula. And also we have seen three examples when pole is of order more. In this session, let us see some more examples when pole is of order more than one. And let us discuss residues at a pole and statement of residue theorem. Now, let us see this question. Evaluate counter integral of 1 by z cube minus 1 whole square dz where c is a curve mod z minus 1 equal to 1. So, here if you observe denominator contains square term z cube minus 1 whole square that means whatever we get poles here those poles are of order 2. So, here let us see this solution. So, here in this solution as usual according to our working procedure here first we have to find poles of this function. So, to find poles of this function, we equate denominator to 0. So, here equate z cube minus 1 whole square to 0. z cube minus 1 whole square to 0. So, here first let us factorize this. Even in this bracket, z is not a single term. Here z cube is there. Okay, power of z is not 1, z cube. So, here we have to apply a cube minus b cube identity within the bracket first. So, a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. So, according to this identity, first let us factorize this. So, here within the bracket, we get z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1, 1 square is 1 equal to 0. That means, but here whole square is there. So, here we get whole square equal to 0. So, what does it mean? z minus 1 whole square into z square plus z plus 1 whole square equal to 0. That means, z minus 1 whole square equal to 0 and second bracket z square plus z plus 1 whole square equal to 0. So, if you observe z minus 1 whole square means z minus 1 into z minus 1 equal to 0. So, here z equal to 1 comma 1. So, z equal to 1 is pole of order 2. So, if you observe this second bracket, so z square plus z plus 1 into z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0. This means z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0 and again z, z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0. Now, here to find value of z, we use formula method. What is that formula? If equation is a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then we find value of x by using minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So, we use same formula to find factors of this z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0. So, imply z equal to here a means 1, b is 1, c is 1. So, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 upon 2 into 1 which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 upon 2. That means here minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus here what do you get minus 3 within this square root. So, here you can write 3 by 2 i minus 1 by 2 plus or minus 3 by 2 i. Okay. So, here z equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2. Here I have written only 3. This is root 3. Okay, here minus root 3. Minus root 3 is nothing but root 3 i. So, minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2 i. 
here this expression is repeating twice so here we get minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2 i again so here what are the poles z equal to 1 is one pole and z equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2 i here this is other pole here there are uh, two poles minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i right so let us write that so here z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 is a pole of order uh, 2 and z equal to minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i are poles of order 2 poles of order 2 so if you observe there are three poles z equal to 1 z equal to minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and z equal to minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i all these three poles are of order 2 now let us check given curve so here given curve is given curve is mod of z minus 1 equal to 1 so if uh, mo this mod contains z minus 1 then to get center here we equate z minus 1 to 0 implies z equal to 1 so x plus i y equal to 1 plus 0 i so value of x is 1 value of y is 0 implies 1 0 is the center to get center we equate this term to 0 then we find values of x y okay then this right side number indicates radius here radius is 1 radius equal to 1 because right side 1 is there so here radius equal to 1 now let us plot this uh, curve and let us check whether these poles they lie within this curve or outside the curve so if you plot this uh, sorry if you here center is 1 0 that means when you plot this curve so here this is 1 let us say this is 2 here x axis y axis and 0 here center is 1 0 so this is the center and radius is 1 that means here we get circle like this so here 1 0 is the center right now let us check here what is this z equal to 1 is 1 pole so z equal to 1 lies inside the circle and next one is minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i so here minus 1 by 2 is here on a negative x axis this is minus 1 so plus root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 means here 3.17 upon 2 okay so 3.1 so 1 point something on y axis so you will get minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 here here 1 here let us say this is minus 1 here this is minus 2 and here minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 is somewhere here so here minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i so if you observe z equal to 1 is lying inside z equal to 1 lies inside the circle inside the circle and z equal to minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and z equal to minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i they are lying outside the circle outside the circle if these singularities they lie outside this uh, given curve then value of the integral is zero at these values okay then when this singular point lies inside the circle then we get its value now let us see this integral so integral is counter integral of c here 1 by z cube minus 1 whole square dz so we can write it as counter integral of c 1 by here z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1 whole square dz so what does it mean counter integral of c 
here 1 by z minus 1 whole square into z square plus z plus 1 whole square dz. So, here we can write it as which is equal to counter integral along c1 here 1 by z square plus z plus 1 whole square upon z minus 1 whole square. Here this integral is for the pole z equal to 1 dz plus if you consider other pole minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i and so on here along counter integral c2 1 by z minus 1 whole square upon z square plus z plus 1 whole square dz. Okay. Now, here this, these poles, they are lying outside. Here poles, poles lie outside the curve, outside, so its value is 0. Okay. Now, here they, these poles, they are lying within the circle. So, here directly we can write counter integral of fz by here z minus a, counter integral of f z by z minus a dz equal to 0 when po pole is lying outside the circle. But here when pole is lying inside the circle and if order is more then this integral you can write it as counter integral of here f z by here z minus a whole square dz equal to 2 pi i into f dash of a. This is the formula when this pole is of order 2. Then we apply these two formula here. Z pole lies inside. Okay, when pole lies inside then we use this formula. When these poles are lying outside then their integral, their value of the integral is 0 at those poles. Okay, now here z equal to 1. Okay, let us apply this formula now. So, which is equal to, which is equal to 2 pi i into f dash of a. What is f dash of a? Here f dash of a equal to f dash of z, value of f dash of z at z equal to a. That means d by dz of f of z at z equal to a. Right. So, here let us write this d by dz of f of z means this numerator. What is this numerator? This whole thing. This whole thing is f of z. Then here a equal to 1. Here z equal to 1. So, we have to apply this value and this f of z. So, Here, counter integral of 1 by z cube minus 1 whole square, z cube minus 1 whole square dz equal to, according to that formula, 2 pi i into f dash of a, right? So, what is f dash of a? Here f dash of a is nothing but value of f of f dash of z. f of here f dash of a means value of f dash z at z equal to a. f dash of z means d by dz of f of z at z equal to a. So, here this is equal to 2 pi i into d by dz of f of z. What is f of z? We have seen here f of z is 1 by z square plus z plus 1 whole square. So, here d by dz of 1 by z square plus z plus 1 whole square. Value of this at z equal to 1 because z equal to 1 is a pole. Now, this is equal to 2 pi i into derivative of the Here, we have to use d by dx of 1 by x square formula that is minus 2 by x cube. So, here minus 2 by z square plus z plus 1 whole cube whole cube into d by dz of z square plus z plus 1 at z equal to 1 at z equal to 1. So, let us see this 2 pi i into minus 2 by here 
z square plus z plus 1 whole cube into derivative of z square plus z plus 1 is 2z plus 1 at z equal to 1. So, if we replace z by 1, we get 2 pi i here minus 2 by 3 cube into here 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3. So, which is equal to here 1 3 will get cancelled. So, you get minus 4 pi i upon 9. So, this is solution of this question. Now, let us see next question. Evaluate. Evaluate counter integral of here before this integral 1 by 2 pi i is given. Evaluate 1 upon 2 pi i counter integral of 2e power z by z minus a whole cube dz where a lies within the curve a lies within the closed curve c here closed curve particularly not given which is closed curve but lies within the closed curve this lies within the closed curve c so if this point lies within the closed curve c then we have to apply same formula whatever we have applied in our previous question but before that let us find poles here if you equate denominator to 0 we get poles so here z minus a equal to 0 implies z equal to a but here this power is 3 so, z equal to a is a pole of order 3. Pole of order 3. Now, after getting this pole, here this uh, pole lies within the curve, closed curve. So, here by Cauchy's formula, by Cauchy's formula, if z equal to a lies within the curve within the curve then here counter integral of c f of z by z minus a whole cube z minus a whole cube equal to 2 pi i upon 2 factorial f double dash a this is the formula now here 1 by 2 pi i is given. So, here you can write it as 1 by 2 pi i into counter integral of f z by z minus a whole cube equal to 1 upon 2 factorial 1 upon 2 factorial f double dash a. Okay. Now, what is f double dash a? Here f double dash a is nothing but f double dash of z at z equal to a. What does it mean? Second order derivative of f of z at z equal to a. Value of second order derivative of f of z at z equal to a. So, here in the place of f double dash a, we can write 1 upon 2 factorial here second order derivative of f of z at z equal to a. So, let us write this. So, here what, what is that formula? 1 upon 2 pi i counter integral of f of z by z minus a whole cube dz equal to 1 upon 2 factorial into second order derivative of f of z at z equal to a. Now, 1 upon 2 pi i into counter integral of 2e power z upon z minus a whole cube dz equal to so this is equal to 1 by 2 factorial into second order derivative of here this is f of z so here 2e power z at z equal to a which is equal to 1 upon 2 factorial here derivative first order derivative of 2e power z equal to 2e power z 
again if you differentiate it again dz square here of 2e power z equal to again 2e power z okay so here value of this is 2e power z at z equal to a but here 2 pi i is here okay so here this 2 and 2 will get cancelled if you put z equal to a which is equal to e power then here what is the value of let us say here what is the value of 1 by 2 pi i here in the place of 2 if you find z z e power z by z minus a whole cube dz what is its value here in the place of f of z instead of 2 e power z we have to consider z e power z right so here this is equal to 1 by 2 pi i counter integral of z e power z by z minus a whole cube dz equal to according to this formula here 1 by 2 factorial into second order derivative of z e power z at z equal to a then what do you get which is equal to 1 by 2 factorial into d by dz of here z e power z d by dz of z e power z equal to you have to apply uv rule z into d by dz of e power z plus e power z into d by dz of z so what do you get z e power z plus e power z so here d by dz of d by dz of z e power z at z equal to a so which is equal to 1 by 2 factorial into d by dz of first order derivative is z e power z plus e power z at z equal to a again if you differentiate this this is nothing but d by dz of z e power z plus d by dz of e power z at z equal to a that is 1 by 2 factorial here again we get z e power z plus e power z plus derivative of e power z is e power z here z equal to a so if you write z equal to a you get 1 by 2 factorial here a in e power a plus if you add these two 2 e power a so if you take e power a common 1 by 2 factorial e power a into a plus 2 this is solution of this integral if numerator contains z e power z then we get that if numerator contains 2 e power z then we get e power a okay now let us see next question third question third question is evaluate evaluate counter integral of sin square z upon z minus pi by 6 whole cube here curve is dz curve is mod z equal to 1 curve is mod z equal to 1 so here pole is what is pole here here pole is pole is z minus pi by 6 equal to 0 implies z equal to pi by 6 but here order is 3 so here z equal to pi by 6 is of order 3 now what is given curve given curve is a circle mod z equal to 1 is a circle with center at origin and radius 1 radius 1 so if you plot the circle you get like this your radius center is here then what is about this pole pole is pi by 6 what is pi by 6 what is 
one four divided by six. Here, here use value of pi. So pi by six means pi by six equal to three point one four R twenty two by seven upon six. That is twenty two by forty two, right? So which is equal to some zero point something. So zero point something means that may be here. Okay, or you can say three point one four divided by six. So here three point one four divided by six means three point one four upon six. That means zero point some five five two something. Zero point five two means something here. Zero point five here. So. Here this point z equal to pi by six, z equal to pi by six lies inside the curve, inside the circuit. Therefore, by Cauchy's theorem, Cauchy's formula, by Cauchy's formula, quarter integral of c f of z by Z minus a whole cube dz equal to two pi i upon two factorial here f double dash of a. Okay, we have seen in our previous question here f double dash of a means second order derivative of f of z. So let us see this. So counter integral of here sine square z by z minus pi by six whole cube dz. Whole cube dz equal to here two pi i upon two factorial second order derivative of sine square z at z equal to pi by six. What does it mean? Here these two numbers you can cancel. Pi i here d by dz of again d by dz of sine square z at Z equal to pi by six, so which is equal to pi i d by d z of here derivative of sine square z is two sine z into d by d z of sine z. Here first you have to apply x raised to n formula, then again you have to differentiate this sign. So z equal to pi by six. That means pi i d by d z of 2 sin z into cos z. Derivative of sin z is cos z. Z equal to pi by 6. But here, what is it? D by d z of 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta. So you can write it as sin 2 z at z equal to pi by 6. Okay. Here we have applied sin 2 theta formula. Again, differentiate it. If you differentiate it. Um, derivative of sine two z is cos two z into derivative of two z is two at z equal to pi by six, right? So which is equal to which is equal to two pi i into cos of what is this two pi i? This two you can take outside cos two z. At z equal to pi by six, which is equal to two pi i cos of two into pi by six. That means cos pi by three, two pi i into cos pi by three. Cos pi by three means cos sixty degree. So cos sixty degree equal to one by two. Cos sixty equal to one by two. So this is equal to 2 pi i into 1 by 2, which is equal to pi i.